Do you want games on Steam? Cheaper than on Steam? I got gotcha. you. Jump over to an app where you can buy any game you want on any platform. And for a free discount, you can use the code FAMOUS checkout for 10% off. This site offers the biggest discount you can find, so let's get gaming, fams. So I did my homework and I've researched into Mafia Definitive Edition to tell you what to expect from it and basically everything we know about it. So let's get started. So first of all, for y'all console players, the game will run at 4K on the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Pro Xbox. <laughs> yeah. So if you're looking to play at 4K, you can do so. It's not known if the consoles will push it to 60 FPS, but that won't be a problem with the PC. So with that taken care of, let's talk a bit about the gameplay, because that's what the game is all about. About the gameplay, we can all tell that Mafia's Definitive Edition will use the engine from Mafia 3, which was a great engine, I really enjoyed the shooting, and new in gameplay is fighting. You can fight with bats, basically melee weapons. We can fight with melee weapons, which is new. I mean, if you've played Mafia 1, you know that there are melee weapons, but the fighting has been improved making it much better and of course the shooting is great because in my opinion Mafia's shooting, Mafia 3's shooting was flawless. And going up to the story a little bit, I don't want to spoil anything but as far as we know Sarah Angelo, the wife of your protagonist, is gonna play a major role in the remaster in the Definitive Edition unlike in Mafia 1. So, this is one of the little changes made to the story, she'll have an impact on the story. And, um, talking about driving now, we do know that the driving is 10 times better than any Mafia game. This has been confirmed by legit sources that I watch, that I support, and they confirm that the motorcycle driving and the car driving overall is the best in the whole Mafia series. So, Ma Mafia's Definitive Edition driving will be flawless, well, let's just say so, because we haven't played the game yet. And of course, the dialogue has been reworked, it's not like in the original game, it's been written again, and we can all say that it's better thanks to the reveal of the gameplay, which showed us how the story plays like. We do know that the cutscenes are gonna be great, and of course, next gen, or maybe current gen, <laughs> because uh, they're using the engine from Mafia 3 and Mafia 3 cinematics, cutscenes, were top notch. One of the best in this video game franchise, or any video game at all. It was flawless. Now, going up to the weapons, there are gonna be new weapons that weren't in Mafia 1, and they represent the time of the game. We can also talk now about the vehicles again telling you that there are also new vehicles. And since we're on the topic of vehicles, me, who played Mafia 1 on Steam, didn't get the chance to listen to the radio. But that won't be a problem in the remaster, in the Definitive Edition. There will be music of the respective timeline, and I think it's going to be great. I love Mafia 2's and 3's uh, soundtracks, the radio stations, and that is gonna make a comeback in the game. And now, added to the gameplay, there'll be collectibles. Besides that, Hangar 13 made the fans as wanted posters. Well, of course, not everyone who joined, but the best ones. So, this is a nice touch for us, or at least the people who got to be in the wanted posters. We don't know yet if you can collect wanted posters just like in Mafia 2, but I do hope that the Playboy magazines are gonna make a comeback and the newer uh, collectibles that are specified to be cards of the characters are gonna be in the game. Moving on from this, the map and the GPS are a thing in this game. I know we all hate the Mafia 1's way of driving because you had to look at the map all the time. Now we have a GPS on our minimap and it's gonna help us go through the game. Enjoy driving, make it a little bit better. 
And now, let's talk a bit about the missions. The missions are pretty much the same as in the original game, but I don't want to spoil anything for you people, gamers, who haven't played Mafia 1. I won't spoil anything. I'll just have to say that the annoying missions from Mafia 1 are gonna be also annoying in Mafia Definitive Edition. That's what people who play the game said. And I do mean Mafia 1 was a hard game, at least for me. And I'm not, and, I'm, and I know I'm not the only one. But talking about difficulty, there's also going to be the classic difficulty, which will turn the game up to its limits, difficulty speaking, by making it feel like Mafia 1, the original one, which was a hard game. Of course, you can choose to play the classic one or the difficulty that the game gives you. So, that would be nice. And in conclusion, this has been everything that we know about Mafia 1. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it, follow me on the social medias, support me on Patreon if you want to, or help. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, I make more videos like this. And let's hope Mafia Definitive Edition will be as I've told you in this video. These are legit facts, and I did my homework, and I provided you everything I learned from articles, videos, and people who played the game before us. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my other videos. As always, have a good one, fans. In case you're subscribed, of course. In other case, if you don't subscribe, thank you for watching my filters. Enjoy the game. In case you're not subscribed yet, well, you're a mafioso, so if you want to be part of the home, just subscribe. Be part of the mob, everyone's mob. <laughs> so yes, this has been the end of the video, and I'll see you at my other videos. Have a good one. In this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. One day you're busting your back doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat. And then next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. <laughs> Go get him, Tommy! Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. You want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? Please, but miss the clutch. These Romanian trees for the system's touch. Whoa! Look at his finest, your highness, German president, your highness. Wait, I'm here to slay the demons that harness, tarnish, join us. The time is upon us. Hold the game just hold my PS5. I do it for my soul, so with the BS5. Me and Rev, don't show who's me as on. The whole game is off. Use me as 